Hey, what's going on guys? Kings here. In this video, we're going to finally start implementing our evaluation function. So without further ado, let's actually start writing some code. So the very first thing to consider, I would like to paste my material score array, uh, initializing the scores for every single piece type. So here we have a schema representing the value, the weight of the pieces. Well, I hope this is quite pretty self-explanatory. And regarding the uh, values within this material score array so we uh, map this pieces just like we do uh, regarding our piece uh, piece encoding so pawn knight bishop rook so white pieces and then we go for black pieces and so on so uh, we're gonna be using this array in order to count the material and uh, get the appropriate value of the material score within current given position. So just to make sure that the material is scored correctly. And that's literally it. So already starting from now, we can go and implement our evaluation function. So here I just say eval position, position evaluation like this. And this would be the static inline integer. I'm, use, I'm making this static inline because it's gonna be used really lots really a lot uh, along the search and let's call this just simply evaluate like this uh, sorry evaluate and uh, now we need to define some variables so the very first uh, variable would be uh, the static uh, static uh, evaluation score so I'm creating the score variable that would be equal to zero by default. Uh, and also we need to create uh, a copy of the current big board piece that was supposed to be uh, iterating over. So let's say uh, current big board piece, uh, 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 current pieces, pieces, big board, copy like this and this would be the u64 a variable called bitboard we're not going to be initializing this just right at the moment because we don't really need this and the very last thing to consider we need to have the pair of square so initialize of piece and square so uh, uh, we're supposed to be using so let's first define them right so int piece and square okay Let's compile and run the code to make sure that it works and then I'll continue the explanation. So I want to make debug and if it compiles, I want to run the BBC binary executable. So let's see what we got. So probably it would fall into, yeah, it falls into a UCI loop. Uh, okay, so the very first thing to consider uh, let's. I just want to create the debug uh, uh, debug mode variable. So int debug and equals to let's one would be like equals to true. So now we can say mm, if debugging uh, then this then we want to run some code and else otherwise uh, otherwise so let's just print something here okay so just to make sure that we're not falling in falling into the UCI loop when we're debugging okay perfect so now let's get back to our evaluation function Okay, so the technique that we're supposed to be using here is pretty similar to that to that that we've been using within the mode generator. So we need to loop over all the bits within a current given bit board in order to uh, extract the squares for it and uh, the and to extract the pieces obviously. So the pieces are quite pretty self-explanatory uh, and so that's just a matter of picking up the bit board piece index uh, to loop over the big boards which I will explain just right in the moment and the squares would also be needed in order, in order to score the positional uh, p positional piece scores so just to give an engine an idea of where to develop its pieces but this is already this this is 
going to be uh, already the topic of the next tutorial, not this one. So, uh, anyway, now I want to look over uh, these bit boards. So I can simply say for and bitboard piece equals to white pawn and bitboard piece is less than uh, is less equals than black king and bitboard piece plus plus like this so here uh, first I want to initialize uh, a piece bitboard copy so I can say bitboard equals to bitboards indexed by the bitboard piece. Okay, and now we want to loop over uh, pieces uh, within a bitboard. So while any bitboard, any bits uh, are available on the bitboard, so it's uh, not it's a non-zero value. It's true. So some bits are available. Uh, we uh, need to first to initialize our piece so piece would be equal to a bitboard piece like this and also we want to initialize the square corresponding square and the square would be equal to get list significant first bit index uh, of of the bitboard and now escape condition uh, loop escape condition well it's not it's not escape condition it's just a uh, de decrement it's just a matter so we just want to pop less significant first bit uh, just in order to actually calculate uh, the, get the least significant uh, bit index for the next bit. So exactly the same technique we've been using within our mode generator. So I just say pop bit and the bit board. So I'm popping the bits from the bit board copy, not from the pieces bit board obviously. So that's the reason why we're creating this sort of a variable here. And we want to pop the bit at the square like this. And now we can already go for uh, evaluating our uh, piece weights basically so I can say like score material weights uh, and I say score equals material score so I'm refer I mean uh, I'm referencing the material score array indexed by a particular piece and that's it basically so the very last thing we would like to do within our uh, evaluate uh, evolution function in this video we want to return uh, final uh, evaluation uh, based on site. Uh, so uh, I can simply say so if site is equal to white in this case. Uh, I want to return the score and I, otherwise I want to return the minus score so again like this would be used later on uh, assuming the NIGMAX framework within our alphabet search so the maximum the, ma the maximal score of white is uh, at the same time the minimal score of black and on the country so well let's actually go and try to Mm. Uh, I would like to parse uh, parse FPN and parse FPN. Let's take the initial position. So uh, I will grab this just to be just to be able to uh, just to be able to edit this position here. So just adding pawns, removing pawns, and so on. And I also want to print board. And also, I want to print uh, the value of static evaluation. So score would be equal to, so this is the decimal value, and we just say evaluate, and that's it. So it should be, it should be now zero, because, okay, two, two. 
seven five. Let's have a look two two seven five. Uh, okay, just forgot a semicolon. Okay, so it should be z zero uh, because uh, we have uh, an equal materials uh, material situation on the board. But if I just start removing the pawns, it should be uh, changing the score accordingly. So let's try this. Uh, so let's try to put this white pawn away and make an, an empty squares now and the score should be minus 100 because uh, that's the value of okay didn't change okay so it's probably I missed something within the evalu evaluation so let me just quickly check this well oh it seems like uh <laughs> yeah i just i just wanted to say score plus equals material material score score obviously because <laughs> we need to uh, evaluate uh, all the pieces, not not uh, not the only ones. So well, let's actually see if this if this helps. If this was the case, okay, not it's it was the case def definitely, but it's not yet it. So okay, and another issue that actually <laughs> I forgot to return the value from uh, from an evaluate function here. So yeah, now this. Hopefully this should work actually. So minus 100 expected. Okay, perfect. So uh, let's go for some other tests here. So if we just try to return some uh, some more pawn, it would be zero again. Okay, because the material score is equal. And if we just return, if we just take back another, if we just uh, remove another pawn, it's already kind of one pawn better for whites and so on. So if we just now put all the pawns back uh well let's say just uh if we don't have three pawns respectively it would, would it be like minus 300 so i hope this is quite pretty clear now if we just get rid of the knight it would be minus 300 as well because knight worries three pawns in case of a rook it would be minus 500 and or hold on a sec oh it's a black i just put a black rook sorry uh yeah it's not not exactly the case just want to drop it okay minus 500 good and the same for the same should be for black rook and all literally all the other pieces okay so well seems to be working quite pretty nicely and this is actually kind of it so the next thing to consider would be to provide the so-called p square uh, p square tables to score uh, providing the scores the positional scores for pieces mm, so say like uh, pawn on d4 would be getting a better score than pawn on a3 so that's that's the, the core idea and that's actually how we can initially give our chess engine an idea, an idea of where exactly to develop its pieces. Okay, guys, so this is it from my side regarding this tutorial, and I hope to see you in the next part actually covering this positional scores within our evaluation function. So, uh, until then, and take care.